There's an awkward moment when Remy's ex Brie walks in to see Remy on stage. Neither expected the other to be there, and Xander apologizes to Brie for not warning her as she sits in the corner fixated on Remy. Brie notes that Remy can't even look in her direction, surmising that he's obviously doing just fine without her, and so she decides to show him that she feels just the same. Having been roped into attending by Flick, putting paid to her plans to spend a full 24 hours alone with lover Levi in the farmhouse, Mackenzie makes an appearance. She's dragged Levi along too, but waits downstairs for a few minutes so they don't arrive together and arouse suspicions. Eden's surprised to see her brother back in the bay once again, as he claims he heard about the fundraiser, but she isn't the only one to spot his arrival. Bree heads over to say hello, which is a surprise to Levi since the last time they spoke wasn't exactly amicable as they argued over Remy's hospital treatment. Bree says that's all water under the bridge, and as she asks to pick his brains about the Doctors Without Borders scheme, she starts to turn on the flirting. As the night progresses and Bree knocks back the drinks, it's obvious to everyone that Bree is throwing herself on an increasingly uncomfortable Levi. Mac is quietly seething behind the bar, as she comments whether Bree knows that Levi is taken, didn't stop her though. Remy can see exactly what Bree is doing and isn't impressed. Eden assures him that Bree can't be flirting given she knows that Levi is married, but Remy decides to head home. The next morning, Brie is feeling rather delicate as she sees Flick and Xander outside the surf club. They discuss how much the evening raised, before Xander asks Brie whether trying to make a point to Remy was worth it. Meanwhile, Remy continues to bemoan Brie's behavior to Eden, and points out that Levi didn't help matters much, he wasn't exactly discouraging her. As he asks Eden why Levi has been spending so much time in the bay, it gets Eden wondering. Are you having an affair? 